Okay, I am here to show you today how to wire your canvas painting using either a D-ring or an eye hook. So congratulations if you just got into an ex exhibition. Great job, you're so excited, I'm sure, and I'm excited for you. Or maybe you just want to wire some artwork to give to a friend, Maybe you received some artwork from a friend or bought some, and you just need to know how to wire it to put it on the wall. Well, if you're in a gallery exhibition, you might need to check if they have wiring specifications. Some galleries do require you use a D hook um, because they actually need to hook it onto some tracks because they don't have they have some walls at least that they can't drill into. Otherwise, you can generally use an eye hook and then wire it from there because they're just going to either put it on a nail or, you know, they can just hang it up on anything. And if you're doing it at home, same thing. You can just wire it using an eye hook or you can wire it using a D-ring and then just hook it onto the nail. So what you're going to need apart from your artwork and either your eye hook or your D-ring is something to measure with, some picture hanging wire, which can be coated or uncoated, coated is best, and optional is a drill bit, a little bit smaller than the screw part of the eye hook or the screw you're using with your D-ring and then a drill. You'll also want a pen to mark with. Finally, you'll need some scissors or wire cutters. Down in the description is a list of the supplies as well as a link to the supplies that I'm using. You'll wanna lay the canvas out in the direction that you'll be hanging it, either vertically or horizontally. And then starting from the top of the picture, make a mark about a third of the way down the canvas. Do that on each side. If you're going to be using eye hooks, make the marks on the inside of the frame. If you're going to be using a D-ring, make the marks on the back of the frame. Now it's for the optional part. I like to use a drill and a drill bit to make a little hole where the eye hook or the screw for the D-ring is going to go. This makes it a lot easier when you go to screw it in. So you just wanna make sure that the drill bit you're using is a little bit smaller or thinner than the screw. Another thing you'll want to do, which I forgot to, is if you're going to do this, Make sure your drill is charged before you go to start. I had to stop in the middle of things and go to charge my drill. And by the time my drill was ready, I didn't realize it, but the battery on my phone, which I was using to record this, had died and I totally lost the footage of drilling the holes. Fortunately, I was able to find some lovely stock footage for you all of a person using a drill bit to drill. But basically, if you're using eye hooks, drill on the inside. If you're using D-rings, drill on the back, but be very careful. Just go a little bit in. You do not want to go all the way through and ruin the canvas. If you're using D-rings, make sure to check the specification for the weight. It's possible if you have a heavier canvas or you're planning to use a heavier frame that you're gonna be using a D-ring that actually comes with two screws for each D-ring instead of one. And in that case, of course, you'll just need to make two little holes on each side instead of just one. When purchasing a box or bag of D-rings or eye hooks, it's going to give you the weight specifications. So that's just something to check for if you think you have a heavier piece of artwork. So starting with the D-ring, you're just going to go ahead and screw in the screw right where you made the marker and where you made your little drill hole if you took that optional step. Obviously, if you didn't take the optional step of using the drill bit, just go ahead. You can take a manual screwdriver or you can use an electric screwdriver and just go ahead and screw in your D-ring. If you're using an eye hook, just go ahead and stick the pointy end of the eye hook right where you made your mark and or where you drilled your little hole. And you're just going to have to manually 
screw that in with your fingers. I like to sometimes use a drill bit just to give me a little bit of an assist. Once you've screwed in your eye hooks or D rings on both sides, now it's time for the wire. Now, just for your information, D rings are often used when a gallery is not actually using any wire, but they are hooking up hooks directly to the D rings themselves. But for the purposes of this video, we're assuming you're going to need to wire your canvas. So now you want to just take your wire and measure it. You want to leave a little bit extra on each side because you're going to be wrapping the wire and you also want to make sure there's a little bit of slack. This is just an eyeball estimate. You don't actually need to take out a tape measure. Also, I use my scissors to cut the wire, but this will ruin your scissors, so don't use good scissors. Now, as you see, I'm taking the wire and threading it through the eye hooks on each side. You can also thread it through the D-ring. I'm trying to make the wire approximately centered, and then I'm just making one little wrap on each side to hold it in place. It should have a little bit of give and not be completely tight. Then it's time to simply wrap the loose wire on each side. If you have the time and patience for it, it's really nice if you wrap it tightly. Your wrapping will also look much nicer if you use coated wire. For most of this demonstration, I'm using uncoated wire because that's what I had most easily on hand for this piece, but I'll show you later on what it looks like with coated wire. So this is what it will look like in the end if you're using uncoated wire. But as I said, it'll look a lot better with coated wire and you'll have less jagged edges. So in this next demo, I'm just going to quickly show you what it looks like with coated wire. And here I'm just using D-rings so you can also see it with the D-ring. Now, after you've wired your painting, you might want to frame it. I have another episode which shows you how to frame your picture using a floater frame. So if you're also interested in framing your artwork before you hang it on the wall or have it in the exhibition, be sure to check out that episode. Otherwise, if you found this episode useful, I'd love it if you hit the like button and consider subscribing. And until next time, keep creating.